is Kathy Coomer, and I'm the general manager of uh, RSU Radio. Been here for five years. Well, actually, this is my sixth year. And when I came to RSU, uh, we had just been approved with the uh, Bachelor of uh, Communications program. So that first year uh, was very crazy um, for all of us um, that were here. And of course, that seems like decades ago because of all the changes that we've made in the last five years going on six. Um, I see the Baird building today and it's nothing short of a miracle to me that it, it hasn't been 25 years. Um, I, it just amazes me that, and especially with the economy as it is, that we've still been able to um, get this beautiful building and, and get ready to have um, a beautiful um, theater and performance studio with $250,000 worth of high definition equipment. We've always had the radio station with them state-of-the-art radio equipment which has helped us um, immensely in getting students jobs in the Tulsa market um, and uh, immediate jobs um, but we were always lacking in TV and uh, uh, and I say that and, and but yet I, I can also still say that we have students that are working in, in every TV station in this market so we were fortunate in being creative with what we had and and that was one thing that we've been doing for the last three to four years is being creative with the equipment that we had. And uh, But now, uh, with the facility that we do have and that we will be using in the next six months as soon as the new production studio is open and the, the new equipment arrives here, which will be in the next few months, um, we, we will continue to be creative, but we won't have to be as creative because in that regard because we'll have all the equipment um, to be able to use, and it, it's it's just been it's been a blessing. Um, our administration has fought for us, and uh, we haven't had to go out and search for grants like so many schools have had to. Um, you know, we've been we've been very lucky in the fact that um, with the radio station, there's just two of us that are uh, uh, faculty or and, and staff rather than students. It's a completely ran, studio student ran radio station um, in in the classroom. Part of the class is that the students have to do live radio shows, and uh, we start them out um, in um, small ways by by teaching them how to play the CDs and getting used to the board. But within two weeks, they are doing a board shift, a one and a half hour board shift a week. They are voice tracking because we are a 24-hour station, so they have to come in every week and voice track for an hour. And they are also coming in and doing production. We have. Uh, a vast amount of volunteers that come in that are of all ages that do shows that have nothing to do with classroom. They just want to do shows and they come up here on the weekends um, because they just love music and uh, they've, uh, this is an opportunity for them to do a radio show, something they've loved to do for years. But for the classroom, it's a part of their assignment. So they do a live radio show, and this is one of the few places, um, if any, um, in, uh, in Oklahoma that will actually let you, in a, in a freshman's beginning class, sophomore class, to do a live show like this. So the students are really excited to get in there and in this class as soon as they can. We'd like to thank Explore Tulsa for coming here today. We'd love for you, anybody that wants to come and do a tour with the radio station and TV station, to just give us a call. We, we love showing off the station, um, and we appreciate you being here today with us and for the dedication. So, so come back anytime you want to and enjoy the tour.